Good day and welcome to this online tutorial. This video will introduce you to EndNote 7. So what is EndNote? EndNote is a reference and full text organizer. You can group references according to your research projects, attach PDF files and share your references. EndNote is also a bibliography maker and using the TUT Harvard Output Style Sheet, your citations and references are already in the correct format. Creating a new EndNote li library. To open EndNote, click on Start, All Programs, EndNote and EndNote again. EndNote will open and now you can create a new library from the dialog box or click on File, New. Now you select the folder where you want to save your library. In the File Name box you can rename your library. I will save it as My Research EndNote Library. Now click on Save and your new library name will display at the top of the page. Maximize the screen so that you can see the full screen. The screen is divided into four sections. The header with the EndNote name, the menus and the icons. If you hover over the icons, it will tell you what you can do with the icons. On the left hand side, you are able to organize your references. We will look at it in more detail in the third video. The middle section is where your references will be listed. You can change the columns under the menu, edit, preferences option. On the right hand side, you have the reference information, preview and attach PDF section. Once we start to add references, you will understand these sections. We first need to change the output style. You click on the small arrow and select the TUT Harvard 28 October 2013. If it is not in this sh short list, click on select another style. A dialog box will open and here you can search for the TUT style. It is alphabetical, so you can just go down to T and select TUT Harvard 28 October 2013 or the latest style sheet that is available. Once you've selected the style sheet, click on choose and it will now display here at the top. Now we are ready to start adding references in our EndNote library. Please continue with the next video.